get started so for now since I'm using a Mac I would prefer using the iOS device so currently uh, in our development OS Mac OS is selected and the target OS your iOS is selected so over here the required dependencies would be you need to install node watchman and the react native command line interface like your xcode and cocoa pods right so first of all before starting off uh, we would uh, we would you know install this one that is basically home view so if it's not install install this so to, so the way to install this is uh, just press on this it will take you to that particular page okay so yeah so install home view with the help of this code so just copy uh, copy down this code and you could uh, and you could open up your uh, terminal or your command prompt okay so in my case i use something known as item so because i like that so i'm just gonna search for item for mac so if it's not installed just install this go to the first link item 2 and you could just scroll down and then download over here so i've already downloaded that so i'm not going to do that again so you could install item and after installing it open it up and then uh, just paste in the code that is this one so this code would install your homebrew so after installing just to check if at all it's installed or not so i'm just going to open up my item over here so i'm going to say item yeah so to check if at all homebrew is installed i'm just going to say brew uh hyphen hyphen version and enter okay so as you can see homebrew is installed in my system and this is the package i mean this is the version right so make sure you you're just pasting the command in your item and this would get installed so after installing your homebrew the next thing is we need to install two things that is your node as well as your watchman so you could so i mean so for windows you could directly install it by going to node.js install so the first one download node.js okay so you could download let's say this this particular version and then check the version if it's correctly installed or not whereas if you are in your mac system okay you could just do brew install node and then brew install watchman so basically watchman is a tool that is developed by facebook for uh, for seeing all of the uh, different kinds of uh, changes in the file system so install these two pieces of code so i've already installed that okay so now to check the version uh, that is if it's correctly installed or not just go to item or your command prompt so i'm just going to say node hyphen hyphen version enter so this is my version of node that i'm using and after installing the second one that is brew install watchman for so for that also i've already installed so i'm just going to say watchman hyphen hyphen version enter so this is my uh, version of watchman that is installed in in this system right so after that you need to install uh, a application that is xcode so this would be present inside of your app store so i've already installed xcode so this would take in a couple of uh, minutes or or it would take actually a long period of time because the application is uh, is pretty large so yeah install that and open up xcode all right so so after opening up xcode it would show something like this okay so this is the this is the default version that i'm using that is 15.3 so to set up your uh, let's say your simulators you could just go to your settings over here okay so as you can see uh, it would open up this particular box and you could go to platforms over here so these are the devices that have installed with the specific ios versions and let's say if some version is not working you would automatically get that error in the uh, app that is why you build it in your vs code so it would recommend uh, the required version to install so currently my latest version is ios 17.4 so if you want to install any different kinds of version so you could press on plus button over here you could select ios and it would choose the different uh, i mean it, it would uh, ask you to choose a uh, version to install and you can download and install it so basically it would be better to you know install the latest version so currently i think it's 17.4 so install that and you would get all of the required simulators for that particular version okay so i think that's it about the the xcode application so these are the required things you need to do that is install that iOS specific version after installing the Xcode app from the App Store. So yeah, apart from that, uh, yeah, I think that's it for the Mac OS version. So yeah, so if you have previously installed your uh, React Native CLI or your React Native Community CLI, so it's preferable to you know uninstall that with the help of this one that is npm. Okay, so after that you could go ahead and create your new project. So these are the required steps. Okay, so these are the required environment steps for. Uh, or developing a react native project 
okay for your mac os uh, when you develop on your ios simulator or your ios device so i think that's it about this video hey everyone so in this video we'll be exploring about how to set up the environment for your android part that is for windows so currently i do not have a windows system with me i just use my mac so what i'll do is I'll, I'll just be explaining the steps to do in windows and after this video i'll be tagging along the youtube video so that you could go ahead and then explore each step whatever they have explained for the environment setup in the windows part of it so i've just currently opened up react native.dev so i'm gonna press on get started over here so as you can see it says setting up the development environment so make sure you select react native cli and the, de the development os is going to be windows target os is going to be android so over here the first step is you will need your node uh, node.js the react native command line interface and a java jdk and you need the android studio application so the first thing is you need to install these two things that is node and jdk so the recommended way of installing this is uh, by using chocolatey so if at all you do not want to use this you could actually directly install node.js just type in node.js install so just type in node.js install over here inside of your google and let's go to the first link and just uh, download the version whichever you want okay you could actually download the 20th version so that was it about for the node.js so similarly you could go to the oracle website and then uh, download the java jdk okay so so since it's recommended to you know download via chocolatey let's press on this so this would navigate you to that particular software and over here let's go through the steps so first one is choose your installation method so let's uh, not look into that so yeah for over here we need to make use of the powershell the, the windows powershell so make sure you open up your powershell and execute this command that is get execution policy so just in case if it returns something known as restricted then run this command or this command so after running that command you would be able to so now after running that command go ahead and then execute this particular piece of command and after it it completes executing make sure you uh, type in choco hyphen question mark to see the required version that is installed okay so that's it so let's come back over here so after that uh, it also requires the uh, uh, jdk that is java jdk that also can be installed using a uh, chocolatey itself so make sure you go into the administrator command prompt not a powershell okay and then execute this command choco install hyphen uh, y node.js lts and then microsoft open jdk 17 so over here it says that if you already have node installed on your system make sure it is node 18 or newer than that so if you already have java jdk on your system we recommend jdk 17 so make sure you install that version itself so after that you need to install your android studio application so this, there are only three things one is node java jdk and then android studio so let's just press on this link it will take you to that particular website where you could install your android studio so just uh, uh, press on this button download android studio i've already installed it in inside my mac system so i'm not going to do that so this would allow you to download this system i mean the download this particular software that is android studio so now after downloading android studio it would give you i think something known as an android installer package so in that make sure you check the boxes uh, for these things that is your android sdk android sdk platform and then android virtual device so in the video which i'll be tagging along it is explained clearly so that it could be it would be helpful for you to understand how the setup is being done so after that just uh, press on install and wait for all of the components to be installed so after that uh, you need to install this one android sdk platform 34 i'll just be showing that and then make sure you install this one uh, intel x86 or uh, atom underscore 64 system image or this one so to to install this just select the sdk platforms tab from the sdk manager i'll show you where the, exactly that is and then check the box next to show package details in the bottom right corner and expand the android 14 so make sure you uh, you download this one sdk platform 34 and then install it so finally we need to configure the uh, android home that is environment uh, variables we need to set it up so open windows control panel user accounts user accounts again change my environment variables uh, so give the variable name as android underscore home and wherever it's installed just make sure you get that path so it's going to be in the same path for you as well so make sure you add it and press on ok so this is going to be the default path where it is going to be installed so after that you could actually uh, open up the command prompt to verify android home is added or not so now just open up the powershell and then copy and paste this piece of code and verify if your android home has been added or not 
so that's pretty much it so next we need to add the platform to uh, platform tools to the path so oh, again open up windows control panel user accounts user accounts change my environment variables again uh, select the path click on edit and add a new path so the default location is going to be for for the uh, platform tools is going to be this one whereas for your android sdk it's going to be this one so furthermore i think that's uh, that's it we need to just go ahead and then create your application and you need to uh, create an emulator also inside of your android studio so if i open up my android studio application so make sure you you press on tools and as you can see we have something known as sdk manager so press on sdk manager you have three columns sdk platforms sdk tools and then sdk update sites so in sdk platforms i've installed as you can see android api 34 android sdk platform 34 okay so apart from that i've installed android api 34 extension level 8 and this was the previous one which i had installed so yeah apart from that this was again uh, for sdk 31 okay so these are the things in sdk platforms whereas in sdk tools make sure you install uh, the 34th version so just make sure you select android sdk build tools uh press on the drop down make sure you install 34.0.0 so just for the confirmation part you could do one thing that is uh, once you uh, have created your project by the by creating a new react native project then you could just go to the main project directory and then hit npx react native doctor so this would give you a detailed explanation of what needs to be done if at all there are any errors for your ios part as well as for your android part so let's say if you have installed version 33 and 34 is not installed so it would give you an error saying that uh, the, the the present version is 33.0.1 but you need to install 34.0.0 for the app to work okay so make sure you make sure you press on this check mark button and then press on install so that's pretty much it for this thing then apart from that go to this one android sdk command line tools and make sure you install the latest version and 13.0 is the version so just press on the uh, just press on the checkbox and then press on the install button then for cmake this is the one and make sure this is installed intel x86 emulator accelerator so as you can see this is the version and this is also installed and this was installed previously so as you can see it is saying update is available so make sure you install that as well so yeah these are the things so i think there is nothing there over here okay so uh, for a better understanding you could just go through the youtube video next it will be explained clearly so that's it about the uh, environment setup for your android part so now to open up the emulator you need to create your emulator here itself so if i just close this tab so as you can see you have the drop down over here so you could just press on i guess uh, device manager so this would allow you to create your emulator that is present so as you can see this is our device manager so you could go ahead and then create a device over here whatever you want so i've currently created two devices pixel 3 api 30 pixel 4 api 32 so now to get the devices in your android studio i mean not in your android studio in your vs code that is where you are exactly coding so i'm just going to minimize this so just head over to vs code once that is over here make sure you go into the uh extensions tab and make sure you install this one that is android ios simulator so once you install this this particular icon is going to be shown over here as you can see ext uh, extension is going to be android uh ios simulator uh, ios emulator so if you press on this you'll be seeing two options that is view android emulators and view ios simulators so let's press on view android emulators you should be seeing those two things which i've added that is pixel 3 api 30 pixel 4 api 32 so for your similarly for your ios whatever is there inside of your x code uh, is gonna come up over here so just like this so these are all of the uh, ipad or your iphone versions that are present so as i told whatever whatever device you add inside of your de uh, inside of your device manager the same thing is going to get reflected in your vs code extension part so yeah these are the required steps for the android environment setup